story is plenty. My people, I am here to give you all the gist. Let's just get right into it. So let's start this gist with Asi, darling. Hmm, my people. So I remember a few weeks back, I made a video about Asi. You know, when Asi said she was moving from Toronto, but she didn't say she was giant father. And one of my commenters came to my comment section and said, hmm, am I making a mistake? I thought Asi said she was moving to Toronto and not Nigeria. Well, I guess the spirit, all the spirit was leading me because few, I mean, days or weeks down the line, Asi uploaded to tell us that she, you know, was leaving Canada for now and she she was back to nigeria and we could see that she uploaded a video where she was back to nigeria and she met with her son i mean as i said previously a lot of people would not take that kind of bold decision after you know experiencing canada and all that comes with it but i mean it's also not easy to be away from your family you know she has a young son her husband is there and you know she can always go back to Canada because now she's a permanent resident. Probably once in a year, twice in a year, four times in a year, five times in a year. I mean, whenever she wants to, she can always go there. She can send her son to go school there and whatnot. So it's a win-win for her. Um, I saw a comment in Asi comment section when someone said that Asi's own is beyond Jackpada. Asi didn't Jackpada because Jackpada means like, oh, you've relocated or you've migrated totally back to Nigeria. But Asi has not Jackpada. She just, you know, moved back to Nigeria um because she still has the opportunity and the ability to enter into canada whenever she likes anyway we could still call it japadasha again so let's jump into the next gist let's talk about fantastic favor i watched a video and uh, fantastic favor was you know she was begging her audience when i saw it i was like what's going on again <laughs> what's happening here so she was begging her audience then she went further to explain that you know there was a time when she was doing exercise content and you know she would you know do fitness take challenges one week challenge three days challenge and whatnot but at a point it was taking a toll on her and you know she wasn't feeling it anymore so she had to just stop it and she told the audience that she was stopping it but tell me why tell me why after she told her audience that she was stopping it people would see her posts a video and they will make remarks like oh you're looking bigger you've gained weight you've done this you've done that so according to fantastic favor it made her feel some type of way it made her feel she didn't mention the word insecure but i'm thinking that is how it made her feel because you know the audience were coming to remind her of her present look which she didn't want and according to her it made her you know sort of limit the way she was showing her lifestyle because she was wondering which comment is going to come next for her as she gets to her weight you know and whatnot and you know it just made her feel some type of way so she says she wants to be free like a bird now and show whatever she says she feels like showing she doesn't want to limit anything or hold anything back so therefore she's going to be going all out to make posts like that like she's going to be posting herself in full and she doesn't want anybody to come and say oh this you are getting bigger, you are losing weight, and her husband likes her like that, which is what matters at the end of the day. How does your husband like you? People like us are like 70 years old, man. <laughs> anyway, let's jump into the next gist. How can I forget this gist that Cecilia came to give us? She brought it all the way from Facebook to YouTube. You did wine. <laughs> anyway, so Cecilia is also a creator on YouTube, on TikTok also, I think. I'm not 100% sure on that. Cecilia is also a creator on Facebook. And an incident happened on Facebook that she decided to come and narrate with us. According to her, a viewer was angry that she did not come to share pregnancy. And before that, the viewer had already made a remark like, hmm, your nose is looking big. And, you know, maybe she's pregnant or whatever but she just ignored and when she finally posted that she was pregnant this viewer came out and you know came for her and was like so finally i'm right you're pregnant and whatnot oh so you were really pregnant I was like, and i couldn't see i mean she was like uh -uh, is it your pregnant is it your blood my belly now carry for inside my tummy <laughs> so according to ccme you know she addressed the viewer and other viewers as to why a lot of women will hide their pregnancy I mean, there is nothing wrong with you hiding your, your pregnancy. You don't owe it to social media people to come and show your pregnancy in real time. As a matter of fact, feel free to pre-film your content and drop it whenever you're ready. Anybody that's going to watch will watch. We no go watch, go work out, go. Those who genuinely love you will still celebrate with you because we know that it is sort of an African thing 
for people to just hide their pregnancy and not just make it known to the whole world that oh i'm pregnant so once you see Yemi said, oh, the girl was sort of cussing her at her, you know, cussing at her and used the remark like, oh, I bet you Gerard or something like that. I can't remember that she just looks at the girl like, well, now you sabi, get. And most times what she do that, she just chooses to just block them, you know, delete their comment and move on. I mean, she said, Yemi, well done. You know how to deal with trolls because <laughs> I need to buy your your attitude. I need to buy it, you know. Sometimes me, I curse them back cost me i cost you <laughs> but you see me being who she is you know the sweet soft you know knows how to deal with social media has been here for long knows what she's doing and you know she handled it in the best way she felt she could handle it and decided to even come out and explain as to why people would you know hide their pregnancy if you're interested in watching that video please go to to see Yemi's channel not the main channel the second channel yeah me see feel free to go there and catch up with that jace i found it quite you know funny and um enlightening anyway let's jump into the next gist i was watching you know uh Adese's video where Adese was talking about the happenings that were going on in the uk i mean last week two weeks ago we could hear that the uk was quite hot and that the netizens of uk no, we won't call them netizens the citizens of uk right they started you know you know doing riots and whatnot against you know um immigrants and you know according to adizzy she got an information that she should be careful and not go to this park because of safety and whatever so she just started thinking which kind of life be this eh which kind of life be this i always talk and say and i got a pretty person but this uk why call she not here now how she won't do with the children they run up and down that was not the exact way she did it but this is maybe in dramatic <laughs> anyway she went for that to say that you know she is going to be she's someone who's going to like to travel you know around the world and just experience diversity in language and she would like you know she would like it for her kids to know more than this i mean no more languages and whatnot then she now mentioned that there was a time when she came out and said that she you know she wasn't looking at the abroad thingy and then people came out and started you know clamoring and hammering that you know she misled and she said she didn't want to mislead anybody okay she's not misleading anybody so that's why she's making some of the things she said i can't go and bring that clip right here for you guys but those were her words and she now went further and said if you know that because i said i'm not going to travel abroad that's you you have now said okay because her days they say she's not traveling abroad though so therefore i'm not going to travel too that's the person should come outside let her clap for the person i tell the person that you're a very wise man because at this they say she's not traveling abroad, you know. But I don't think that, you know, the what the the viewers were complaining about was because at this day that they will not travel also. But you know, there's a certain way you're watching your face or people you feel you like, and you're just so invested in their life. You're just really, really invested in them. So when they come out and they make, you know, certain remarks, you're just like, oh, this person has said. That she's not going to travel you know because her life here is probably very good and she's very comfortable and then when you now see them making an adverse or turning around to do another thing it just feels like oh where these people lying you know i think so that's the angle that some of adese's commenters or some people who thought you know she wasn't straight i think that was just the angle they saw it in and at the end of the day believe content creators at your own rate just whatever they give you just watch it with a pinch of salt and move on don't you know don't dwell on it get so that you don't get hot just watch it and because you like them or you enjoy watching them and just move don't dwell on it so much so that when they do something contrary you know you're not getting angry or whatnot anyway hmm. yeah people i saw this video on social media of uchemba i'm sure you guys would know him i hope i'm pronouncing his surname well uchenna or something like that this child actor who is now a grown man married and this man hmm, came out to tell us something so why some people they're not a quick sales man. Hmm. I say, ah, hey, uncle, which one could be this one now? But the truth is, he's a married man now, and he would have, you know, insights to this, that. And he's always a bit knowledgeable because he considers himself quite knowledgeable. Um, we're going to take that video, and I will be back. Uh, ladies, listen, there is a law that says that anything that you can't afford, don't request for it in a restaurant. Anything that they sell in the restaurant and you think how much you have in your bank, 
account and you notice that you cannot afford it, don't go requesting for it. There is a mentality that is crippling most women in this generation. And when you say there is no husband, this is the reason why. I don't know why you think you have any business requesting for things from a man that you can never get to afford in your wildest dream, even if you work for 10 years. It's a spirit though. And until you deal with it, there are some of you that will end up not getting married because no man wants to put you in their house. It has become like a pandemic now where most women now think that it is okay to make very crazy requests. Do you know that eh, what you need to understand about men is that any man that really likes you will spend money on your head. See, I'm not talking about those men that have had covenants with money, even if they have 10 billion. Just give somebody 1,000 naira. Those ones, those are not the people I'm talking about. Those ones have their problems to solve. Any genuine man that you see that is struggling to give you something and you know he has it. There's something he's seeing in you and he's not letting him. Uh, see, I have seen people that because of the life they have for somebody, they don't quantify it with money. Why are you asking for a G-Wagon, a car, or iPhone 15? If it's not iPhone 15, I don't want to use When you know that you cannot even afford iPhone 10 with how much you have in your account. It's a spirit of greed. It has so many things to do with some element of Jezebelian spirit. And until you deal with it, no man will put you in their house. And any man that is giving you that type of thing, despite the fact that he has... No, there's a difference between appealing. When a woman wants to ask something from the husband, you don't request, you appeal. There's nothing wrong with saying to your husband or your boyfriend or your husband to be or somebody you are dating. Please, I don't know how you see this. I have need of this thing. But I don't want to. There's nothing wrong with that. But you see those women that think it's their rights, that make requests. A man will say hello to you like, how, how much are you going to pay me? And what are you bringing to the table? If you have a problem, and nobody will wife you with that kind of attitude. Somebody will say, ah, what are you talking about? It's true. That is why you see some people that you think you're better than getting married. You're like, ah, what does that girl have that I don't have? Character is what she has. Well, you think it is a, when you have this one here and you have the one at the back that keeps a man. They play. Because that thing you think that keeps men is temporary. Give birth to two children. Let them feed on it and see what happens in the next five to ten years. You don't place value on those things. You place value on the ones they ask and see. Nothing is wrong with attraction. But attraction can't keep a man. What keeps men is character. And I hear some people say, men are cheat. The man will cheat, will cheat. The problem you need to understand is that most men have their problems. Most men have their flaws. But you see, even the one that loves his wife so much, when he misbehaves outside, he still comes back and takes care of his family. So using that as, after all, who will do what will do what, there is a reason why they are not putting you in their house. And if a woman and a man is giving you, even though you have such nasty attitude, there is something he's waiting to get. Let's see how far he will go with you. I'm not talking just relationship. What is he bringing to the What he has to offer? Somebody will say, I'm the price. Price of what? You are the price, but you can't afford what you request for. I'm saying this out of love. A lot of our women needs to do better. Let me even say this. Do you know that half of the time I noticed that my wife only makes requests for the things the family needs, but not for what she needs. I used to watch wonder that thing. So what I now did, I became intentional to pay attention to the things I see she has had for long, or the things I notice she says in passing without even knowing. And I mean, there's nothing she lacks, there's nothing she wants, or she needs that I cannot give her, that I will not give her. Why? Because she does not, even when it comes, it comes as an appeal, her mouth is heavy, she doesn't know when to say it, she doesn't know how to say it. Most women that get what they want never ask for it. I'm talking about people in their marriage. Then those ones that eventually get it, go and check. What they are doing for their husband. You're not giving any value to the man. You have not sat down to say, this is your business. How do we scale it? So now say, okay, you're even supporting the business. Most women that even give value to husbands or to their man, they're not the as they don't request the way some of you request things. If this thing is not done, you keep thinking that going to Shiloh will solve it. It's not a Shiloh problem. It's a character problem. It's not a Shiloh problem. It's an attitude problem. It's a problem that I've seen that is... All right, let's end this video with Diana Ekweme. So Diana Ekweme, we know she's back to Nigeria and she has been creating content, you know, as regards to, you know, her life back in Nigeria. And she came to um, tell us that she went through a loss, which I've already sent my sympathy in my own little way. And um, but the thing is, I was thinking that the loss happened when she, you know, did distress with the plane. You guys know that she traveled from Saudi Arabia 
back to nigeria with three children luggages and everything they were on the road for a few days so me i was thinking that ah, maybe it was that stress of the travel that made you know that incident happen but apparently that was not the case the incident that happened or the loss and what not it happened way before she came to nigeria and she chose to share it at her own time which i think it's cool you share what you want to share whenever you're ready you know at the end of the day everybody's gonna be all right that's what i i think okay anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you watch up to this point and um, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section any it's comment i block your head i block you forever and ever so just comment with sense thank you to my lovely subscribers ndinkim i see you guys bye for now